Michael Douglas is a famous American actor, representative of the famous Douglas acting dynasty, winner of two Academy Awards. Douglas gained wide popularity after the release of One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, which he produced, Childhood and Adolescence, Michael was born to one of Hollywood's most famous couples in 1944. His father, Kirk Douglas, is a legendary member of the Golden Hollywood of the 50s. Kirk made a great career, and world fame fell on him after the release of Stanley Kubrick's tape, Spartacus. Douglas Sr. played a major role in this iconic film. Michael's temper had been explosive since childhood. At the age of 14, he was expelled from school, he was more interested in his peers than in his studies. Young Michael's behavior wasn't exactly studious. He was a typical major and constantly changed his occupation, today he could wander around the city with hippies, and tomorrow already drinking in local bars. In the end, his parents solved the problem of their son's bad behavior radically, they gave him to a military school. Shortly thereafter, the boy's parents divorced. And then Michael realizes that he wants to connect with Hollywood further life and follow in the footsteps of his famous father. For this reason, he did not even enter the famous Yale University, becoming a student of drama at the University of California. Here he met another future famous actor, Danny DeVito. The guys were in love with art and hit it off immediately. They became best friends, and later became filming partners. Kirk's son was not ready to start acting in movies right away, Michael had to be 25 years old to do so. Until then, the aspiring actor was making his way in Hollywood. In the end, Kirk's predictions came true, in his youth, his son had to work in the cafeteria, to be an assistant editor and director. Injury and the beginning of his career, 70, second year began the professional biography of Douglas Jr. on the big screen. He was invited to star in the title role in a popular series of those years called The Streets of San Francisco. Here he began to work together with the famous actor Carl Molden, who was a friend of the family and Kirk Douglas. Carl called the young colleague his named son and insisted that the guy should definitely appear in the continuation of the project. Three years later, Michael began working as a producer of a popular picture called One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. He bought the rights to screen the tape from his own father, who put on the plot of the script production. However, the play was not in great demand, so Kirk with a light heart gave the work to his son. Michael was in love with the novel by Ken Kesey and dreamed of embodying the plot of the work on the big screen. However, he managed to collect a very modest budget for the movie, which limited the bold ideas of Douglas Jr., boy tried to save on everything so he invited to the main role of nobody known at that time Jack Nicholson. Filming took place in a real psychiatric hospital. Soon the picture was filmed and its premiere took place. The premiere show turned out to be a success, the audience was delighted with the deep plot, the wonderful play of actors. The budget paid off even the most daring ideas of the project managers, the picture paid off 20 times compared to the original budget. But a few months later, Michael received another gift, his picture received nine nominations for the Academy Award. The movie won five of them but the triumph of the actor and producer was spoiled by an unpleasant situation, Michael was seriously injured at a ski resort. The injury was so serious that the guy had to forget about filmmaking for three years. During this time, he carefully observed the moods and trends in society and perfectly understood what pictures will be in demand among viewers. Return to filmmaking Michael's return to filmmaking was in 84. He played in an adventure movie called An Affair with a Stone. His partner on the set was Kathleen Turner, with whom Douglas appeared in several other projects. Such paintings were a comedy called The War of the Rose, as well as one of the continuation of the tape, Pearl of the Nile. Interestingly, the role of his screen lover, he planned to invite Deborah Winger, but the actress bit him during the discussion of the script, Kirk Douglas has always dreamed of playing a villain, this dream was passed on to Michael. This opportunity presented itself to him in a picture called, Wall Street. Here he played unclean on the hand of the broker. By that time Michael began to abuse tobacco, later this habit led him to a serious illness. He smoked dozens of cigarettes a day to better get into the image of his character. 
He did not have any creative problems, but to pronounce long dialogues was very difficult, the actor constantly choked and suffered from shortness of breath. Oliver Stone, the director of the project, tried to verbally hurt Michael, so that on the set he looked even gloomier. Once Oliver asked the actor if he does not use drugs, since Michael works as a rookie. Such a lunge led Michael into a frenzy, but the actor's suffering paid off in full. For this role, he received awards, Golden Globe, as well as, Oscar, Dot. After some time, Michael starred in the sensational erotic thriller called, Fatal Attraction. The picture still holds a leading position in the top of the best films according to the Council of American Film Critics in the role of a real macho Michael appeared in the tapes called, Black Rain, as well as, Basic Instinct. Pictures with Douglas Jr. enjoyed great fame and popularity, so the actor was named one of the most famous representatives of cinema of those years. Thanks to charisma and talent, Douglas quickly gained crowds of fans around the world. His picture, Basic Instinct, with Sharon Stone in the title role became a best-selling rental and collected about $112 million. Soon Douglas decides to change the role and play an ordinary guy in a thriller called, I've Had Enough. The protagonist of this story cannot withstand all the anxieties and doubts of this world, so every day becomes a serious test for him. It is interesting that this role got Michael completely by accident. He was planning to go on vacation with his family, but a good friend advised him to read the series to the movie. Michael agreed, reread the script and was delighted. In the future, he called this tape his best film, and the role, his favorite. Michael's father, Kirk, also approved the movie. Do enough unpleasant character Michael was to play in the tape called, The Perfect Murder. Here he appeared as a jealous and manipulative, who learns that his wife is cheating on him. As a result, he decides to take revenge, encourages his wife's lover to kill her. Kinematograph of the 2000 years in the new millennium Douglas did not lose his fame and gave his fans a lot of interesting movies. He starred in a movie called, The Prodigies. Here he brilliantly played a professor who has a lot of problems, he does not have a personal life, and the book is not written. For this role, the actor was honored with the award, Sputnik, Dot. Then Douglas starred as a psychiatrist in a dramatic film called, Don't Say a Word. He played a talented doctor, which colleagues are often invited to consult on particularly difficult cases. So it happened this time, the main character of the picture came to examine a patient named Elizabeth. The girl does not talk, and no one knows why she stopped doing it. An ordinary case from psychiatric practice turns into a tragedy for the psychiatrist, his daughter's life depends on the words of the patient. Role charming, superhero, Douglas performed and in the comedy film, The Wedding Party. He got the role of a secret agent who is trying to come to the wedding of his favorite son. However, to do this he is prevented by another task, so he unwittingly draws in a dangerous adventure of his quiet and calm matchmaker. A little later Douglas appeared in the role of a former thief, and now a traitor in the continuation of the picture, Wall Street. Here the hero Michael finds a smart and savvy assistant, which begins to teach the art of financial fraud. He comes up with an ingenious plan to enrich himself in a global crisis, reincarnate in the great pianist Liberace Douglas had to shoot the film, Behind the Candelabra. It was a biographical drama about the life of the legendary pianist. Filming was very difficult, Douglas suddenly fell ill and performed the main role he was difficult. However, the picture suddenly became a success, received excellent reviews from critics and was loved by ordinary viewers. Interestingly, the premiere screening of the tape gathered in front of television screens more than three and a half million people, in the image of an influential businessman actor appeared in a thriller called, Survival Game. The millionaire comes to hunt and accidentally kills a stranger. The unwitting killer would be happy to forget about this tragedy, but all that was happening saw his assistant. Critics recognized the game Douglas Peerless, but the work of Jeremy Irvine, screen partner Douglas, they were not impressed. They called the tape the game of one actor, Michael Douglas. In 2017, the actor starred in the film, Secret Agent. He played the mentor of the main character. Douglas's character dies at the hands of villains, but manages to give his mentor all the necessary data. Many scenes were to be filmed in France, 
but at that time in this country there was a series of terrorist attacks. That's why the filming process was organized in a safer place. After a year, Michael appeared in the movie Ant Man and the Wasp. Here he played a brilliant scientist. The picture was successful at the box office and collected about $600 million worldwide. The main tape of 2019 in the career of Douglas was recognized by the picture called Avengers, The Final. The film became the bestseller of the box office and collected a record amount from screenings, about $1.9 billion. Personal life, Michael has always been known as a real ladies' man, so no one was surprised by his numerous romances. In 1971, he began dating a young actress named Brenda Vicado. Young people first met on the movie set and did not part for six years. However, they then decided to separate, the actor soon married Deandra Luker. Interestingly, the girl was younger than her fiancé almost twice. The celebration took place in 1977. Douglas's wife was the daughter of a diplomat from Austria and was far from the world of cinematography. A year later, the couple had their firstborn, the boy was named Cameron. In the relationship spouses spent a long 23 years, but then decided to part ways. In the personal life of Michael came hard times, he had a long trial with his former wife. The court cases continued for two years, and the former wife of the actor paid compensation of $45 million. After splitting up with his first wife, Michael had a series of brief affairs until he met an actress named Catherine Zeta Jones. By then, Michael had reached middle age, and Catherine was very young, she was 25 years younger than the new fan. Despite all the obstacles, Michael began actively courting the actress, as he fell in love at first sight. Courtship of the famous actor Catherine accepted and soon they announced their engagement. In 2000, the wedding took place. From this marriage Douglas has two children, a son and a daughter. In 2010, the Douglas family was waiting for a new trouble, Michael got cancer. His diagnosis sounded terrible and concise, cancer of the larynx. Almost a year he spent on treatment and even stated to the press that completely overcame the disease. But his wife couldn't take the ordeal. That year was very difficult for Catherine, who was worried about her husband. She developed bipolar disorder, which is characterized by a sharp change in mood, from euphoria patient quickly goes to severe depression. Catherine's illness almost caused the divorce of the couple, they stopped appearing together at events and did not talk to each other. In 2011, Michael even said that he was preparing for divorce because of his wife's depressive state. However, a few months later, they reconciled and announced a reunion. Michael Douglas is considered one of the most successful actors in current Hollywood. He even has his own star on the Walk of Fame, where the names of the most iconic artists of all time are placed. The opening of the star and the ceremony were timed to a special date, Michael celebrated the 50th anniversary of his cinematic career. In 2019, the actor preferred to spend his free time surrounded by friends and family. Together with his spouse and children, he went traveling. The vacation was spent in warm countries, about which Catherine did not forget to tell in her social networks. The actress also put up a few joint photos, Michael looked really happy, because the company was his favorite children and wife. The family also decided to celebrate the new year in warm countries. This holiday they celebrated on the exotic island of Roten, and then went on vacation in Cuba, unfortunately, the idol in the Douglas family did not last long. Soon journalists again talked about the fact that the couple began to quarrel. The reason for the reticence of the press considers the novel Catherine with a famous actor named Michael Sheen. Interestingly, the alleged romance of actors began on the set of the series called, Prodigal Son, where Sheen played the father of the main character and a dangerous criminal. The maniac and murderer is placed in prison, where an experienced doctor with a bloody past works. Catherine appeared as the doctor when the pandemic era began, Michael's health rapidly deteriorated. This also had a bad effect on his relationship with his wife. However, fans of the actor continue to believe that the spouses will survive all the differences and in the Douglas family will reign again peace and quiet. At the present time, 
despite the solid age of Douglas continues to star in movies. Not long ago, Michael became interested in the project called The Kominsky Method. He wanted to take part in the comedy series, as its director was Chuck Lorre himself, who once filmed the cult series, The Big Bang Theory. Dot. Michael says that his career has always been short on comedic roles, and he intends to change that. In The Kominsky Method, Michael got just a comedic role. Soon the work of Douglas was recognized by film critics, who called his performance brilliant. Douglas received a Golden Globe in the category of Best Television Actor. However, not so long ago, The Kaminsky Method came to an end, the last episodes were released in 2021, oh, that's a shame.